go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 50, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Pinoy Active Alliance. Alright. Let's see. Do I like y'all? Nope, I don't. Because they banned Corvus and uh, CGR and Hercules. Well, I wasn't going to bring Hercules anyway. Anybody that bans Corvus, I don't like you. All right. <clears throat> Although I understand because Corvus is just a beast. Let's uh, take a look and see what they got planned for me. Okay. So, these first two, annoying, but doable uh the second one the uh falcon he gets armor ups so that can be a pain uh gallon can do that fight but is he house of mirrors or is he just uh you can't tell from here why won't they let you tell from here i don't understand why they wouldn't let you um at least see their tags. I mean, it's easy to go. Let me see. I can go to, uh, you know, my, my roster and see it. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm guessing he's not House of Mirrors. He's only Clarity. So uh, don't need a Clarity attacker. Gallon can do that fight. Um, Hulkling can do that fight. So shouldn't be a problem. Now, this guy is going to be a problem. Now, I'm planning on trying to use Gladiator. Gladiator is not bleed immune. In the beginning, he will prevent the, uh, the armor ups. However, what we can try to do is race to a special two fire that off, and basically just keep him from gaining as many armor ups as we can. We can hit into the block, he'll take damage, but if it's just one armor up, it won't be that much damage. All right, so that's the plan. And then for uh, infamous Iron Man, hmm. I don't know. Terax could, can do that fight. But I don't like using Terex against uh, Red Skull. You have to spam your specials, which does not work well with me since I run Recoil. Um, so we'll see. You know, CGR, but that's why they banned him. Um, but we got, we, got, we got options here. So really, the only one that I'm really worried about is that red skull but i think we have a, a plan of attack so we'll see all right let's get to the fighting all right so we're going in with hulkling titania and gladiator yes gladiator is here and more on that fight later uh but let's get this first fight out of the way First fight is going to be against um, Spider-Man Supreme. Now, if you have fought Spider-Man Supreme, you know how annoying he is. So I did a little research. Normally, when I fight Spider-Man Supreme, I just either fire off a medium attack. I know he's going to do his phase thing. I wait that out. It's going to go on cooldown. And then I can just do my normal combos, no problem. Another way to do it is to hit light attacks only and avoid the mediums. 
But I discovered something. Spider-Man Supreme can't do any of that if he can't put buffs on you. Titania's buff immune. Look at this. Boom. He can't do it. She's immune to the buffs. Look at look at what she's doing to him. She is a awesome counter, which means anyone that's actually immune to buffs has to be immune to buffs is a great counter. All right, now I pushed him to a special two because I know I can evade the special two very easily. I'm still not quite uh, confident of evading the special one completely, and it does hurt sometimes, but look at what Titania did. Crazy, okay? Once I found that out, I'm like, okay, I've got to try that out. Now, this fight here, uh, Captain America... Um, what is it? Falcon? Black Falcon, I guess. His most annoying thing is that he can auto-block. And I also don't want to push him to a special two because I can't evade that one properly and it does a lot of damage even into my block. All right? So I'm going to want to hit into his block and get that unblockable like that and then just go to town. See, look at that. No auto-block because I'm unblockable. Then bait out the special one, and I only hit him once there because I was trying to get him to block again. All right, so here we go. Here we go, unblockable again, so I don't have to worry about the auto block. Look at him, he's just standing there. He's just like, no, I'm not gonna fire off my special, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna stand there and look at you. But I was waiting for that. Now see, there you go, I got the auto block, um, if I can time it just right, I can hit into his block with my special two, go unblockable during the special two, and just destroy him, okay? But we didn't do it perfectly, but we got the, uh, the win there, all right? Now, here's the fight that I'm actually kind of proud of because... I haven't seen anyone do this, so I'm not saying that I'm the first one to do it, but I haven't seen anyone with this counter. Since they blocked, you know, banned my Corvus, they probably thought that this fight was going to be annoying. So Terax is a good counter here. I don't like using Terax because I'm usually running the Recoil Masteries, and he needs to spam his specials a lot in order to keep that field up. But he works here just fine. My Terax is only rank four as well, as opposed to my Gladiator. So you saw the buffs that I was using, all right? The plan is to go in, race to a special two, fire that off, and just go to town, all right? Now, you might say, well, Gladiator is not bleed immune. What's going to happen if he hits him while he has the armor ups, right? Watch this. Where's the armor ups? No armor ups. Look at this. That's why I buffed, uh, boosted the way I did, right? All right, now here you go. I hit one, one hit is like that right there. And that's it. That's all she wrote now. I don't have to worry about the auto block. Got another special. And it's over with. So let me explain. When Gladiator has a personal vigilance buff, he reduces the armor ups by 100%. That's why um, Red Skull did not get any armor ups in the beginning. Because my Gladiator is Duke. That's important. Has to be duped. Now, the higher the SIG, the longer that vigilance lasts initially. So it'll give you more time to ramp up to a special two. But that's why I did the advanced power boost. Okay? Now, before this fight, I actually buffed up uh, the Gladiator to, like, a SIG 80. So he had a good, like, nine seconds initially. Um, this fight is pretty standard for uh, Hulkling. 
Uh, as long as I can get that pierce up, we're good. Just rip him up. No problem. But that red skull fight, he never got an armor up. Now, if the AI acts crazy, or if you can't get to a special too quick enough, he'll get an armor up, right? Do not hit him. Just hit his block. Okay? Now, Gladiator is immune to the power drain, power burn, but he will still take damage. But the damage that he takes with one armor up, I actually thought that he didn't take any damage because in my testing, Red Skull only had one armor up. I hit into the block and I didn't notice any damage. That's how low it was. Of course, I'm running recoil, so I'm, I'm constantly taking damage anyway, but I didn't notice it. And I'm like, okay, he's perfect then. So as long as you keep him from getting all those armor ups, he's perfect. So I've got a perfect counter here for that Red Skull when they ban Corvus. And I'm sure next season he's going to be banned globally. So now we'll probably <clears throat> get a Gladiator banned, but you can't ban everybody. So, you know, we've got CGR that might be able to do that fight. We've got Terex that can do that fight. So it just depends. Just depends on who they ban. But in any case, as you saw, that fight went smoothly. I probably didn't need all those boosts, but I'd rather not need them and use them than need them and not have used them, you know? All right, so this is Shocker. And Shocker is annoying. He is very annoying. Um, you can see I still have my buffs and, and boosts and all that. And so I'm like, all right, this should be pretty straightforward. Um, Hulkling is, is uh, shock immune. So we should be good. Now, uh, Hulkling is not clarity. So that means that I have to worry about the um, auto block. Ooh, I hate this. But fortunately, um, Shocker takes a long time with some of his, uh, like his heavy attack and all of that. So I had time to get out of there. All right. So there we go. I was unblockable, by the way, which is what I was waiting for. All right. And then we want to block all this. Okay. Go back in. All right. Bam. Even though he had the auto block, it didn't matter. I was still doing a lot of damage into his block. All right. So that's the last fight that I had for this war. And we'll be back in a moment. And you will find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. We got um, we had a, a pretty decent lead uh, on them. Uh, despite the uh, defender kills there. Uh, shout out to our MVPs. And that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Tell me how y'all liked that um, Gladiator fight. I'm actually starting to like Gladiator, especially for this meta. Of course, now that I've discovered him, they're probably going to ban him all next season as well. We'll see. Anyway, take care. And you all... Have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he's swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.